Hey YouTube, it's Dubop711 here, coming at you on Monday Memorial Day 2014. I just wanted to go over a treatment method with y'all today on how to treat green hair algae. Um, this treatment will also work for cyanobacteria, um, beard algae, and pretty much any other algae that's kind of um, susceptible to hydrogen peroxide. So right now what you're looking at is my 40 gallon breeder. I'll go ahead and zoom out. And there it is. And unfortunately, I've been having an ongoing battle with this stuff right here. If y'all can see it, it's right there. Green hair algae all over my Anubis. And unfortunately, um, I've just been able to, you know, been using manual removal to kind of take care of it. It's just been part of my maintenance routine. But today I'm going to be going over the first video and how to treat that. And if you've seen my previous videos on treating cyanobacteria, this is very similar, if not identical, um, with the exception of how efficient we can be in treating it. And so let me go ahead and show you all what we're going to be doing. and. Here it is. I've already got everything set up to show y'all. We're going to be taking this 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, one thing to note is there's different um, concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. This is 3%. They also sell a very strong concentrated formula of 30%. You will not want to use that. Okay? So. In addition to the hydrogen peroxide, um, you're basically going to want a, a method to kind of disperse it into your aquarium. And so I've got a couple options. Um, the first is from my previous video is this right here. This is called a needleless syringe, which worked extremely well. And basically, it's already got milliliters kind of on the side, uh, 1 through 10. And basically what I did is I poured this hydrogen peroxide into like a little cup and then I stuck this in and I was able to draw the hydrogen peroxide into the needleless syringe at which point I just stuck it in there and just kind of treated the affected areas. There's a much better method to this that I've kind of um, started doing and that's a spray bottle. This is a little one dollar spray bottle that I got at uh, the store it's never been used. You, if you have one lying around, just make sure it hasn't ever had any other chemicals in it. No Windex, no bleach, nothing. It needs to have, if anything, just water. Okay, you don't want to be putting any kind of chemicals or anything in your tank when you're working with parts per million um, and just fish and plants that are super sensitive. Don't take the, don't take the risk. And so I'm going to go ahead and I've got a funnel here. I'm just going to throw that on there. I'm going to take my 3% hydrogen peroxide solution, pour it, and one thing is, I mean, this is a small bottle. If you have the larger bottles, um, they'll work. It's just how easy it is for you to get in and out of your tank. I mean, my 40 gallon breeder, this is a pretty good size. Um, bottle here and so I'll just screw that on and so this is going to be our method I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right here guys so they're not too long and so check out my next video it's going to basically show you it's going, I'm going to tell you and explain to you how much you can use at a given time of the hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to show you how to measure it um, I'm going to show you how to take this sprayer and measure out how much each squirt each spray is going to be putting into your aquarium. So st stay tuned for that, guys. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.